Hello, Cancer. How are you? This is a general reading for your Cancer placements for the week of May 31st through June 6th. Cancer, um, I realized something about you, honey. For those of you that don't believe that miracles can happen, because if, you, if you've been watching me for a little while, you know that for me, the magician card is Cancer, but it's usually in a negative situation. You don't believe that you can manifest through your emotions because you don't see the results right away except with the negative. But that's not true, honey. It takes longer for the positive to be manifested because we're still fighting with our subconscious thoughts and our conscious thoughts many times about how it's not going to work out. If you actually have faith that miracles can happen, then you're allowing them to come in. Okay. I'm going to do a moment to breathe. So if you would like to fast forward, this will take about one minute. Those that would like to join me, straight posture. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. definitely got the impression that many of you are going to be doing a deep dive. I don't think this week, but soon. When you do this, don't forget to come up to breathe, okay? If you start to get depressed, if you start to get sad, feel lonely, anything like that, don't forget to come out and breathe, all right? And join us. Oh my gosh, twice I cut it to home. Twice I cut it to home. Universe. <gasps> Ooh. Cancer, you are expanding. Yes. Oh my gosh. You are expanding. You're expanding your horizons. You're expanding your consciousness is what I am getting. You are expanding your consciousness. You are seeing that your scars were actually gifts, that everything that you went through, all of the harshness that you're going to be going through, that you went through, that you're in now, are actually blessings. Oh, silence and death. It is time for you to no longer be silent, Cancer. It's time for you to no longer be silent. Okay. You got prayer. And decision. You're going to be making a decision, but I see that meditation and prayer may be required. Yes, you are going in deep. Look at that. Look at that face. You will be going in deep. You're going to be doing some deep dive. This could be meditation, prayer, spiritual practice of whatever you have. Okay, you're definitely going in deep and to make a decision. Interesting. Once you make this decision, you give it a moment to breathe, and then you're going to feel better, okay? Stick with whatever it is that you choose. Yeah, some of you may be going through a very rough patch at the moment, 
but make the decision to have hope and faith. King of Autumn, Two of Winter, Seven of Autumn. Awesome. Princess of Spring. Love it. On the bottom of the deck, Nine of Autumn. You are not taking stock in everything that you have accomplished thus far, Cancer. You are not taking stock in everything that you have accomplished. Okay? So you need to do that. That would really, really help. Cherish the time. No, oh, I don't doubt that one little bit. The moon is playing huge, major energies for almost the rest of the year. Okay, the changes that are going, that are un, going, getting underway now. Deep dive. Hmm. Told you, deep dive. Um. Oh, hello. Didn't that just take a turn? Oh, 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 Cancer, Seven of Fire is on the bottom. What do you have going on? Ah, okay. If you're being held up in anything, all right, making the decision, going into prayer, doing the deep dive, the hermit card came I saw the hermit card for you. That's the deep dive. That's climbing to the top of the mountain. The hermit has made it to the top of the mountain, but it is one heck of a climb, all right? And the only thing that he sees by is the light in his lantern, but that light in his lantern actually comes from within him. So going within and finding your own light and bringing that out into the world, seeing how much of a light you actually have, everything that you have to share with others that is worth something, that is worth everything, that is worth more than you can imagine. What you have inside of you to share with everyone else is beautiful. And I know that many of you want to do this. Not all of you, absolutely not but you're not cherishing how much you have grown, how much you have learned, how much you have accomplished. Reward yourself for all of the hard work that you have been doing because evidently you've been doing a lot. Seven of fire, defend, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. But stand your ground. Do not be afraid to take action. Get focused on what you want. Take action on it and stand your ground. Stand up for yourself. Seven of Wands. If you believe you can make it, you will make it. Okay? All right. King of Autumn, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Defend your right to move forward in the direction you choose. Everything will go your way. Queen of Earth. Look at that. We have a pair. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. I think for the most part you do, don't you, Cancer? Two of winter. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. I don't know that cancer is really trapped like they used to be. Challenging information may very well be on its way. Delays, changes to plans, del tr truth delivered without tact. This is also you getting information. This is you connecting in with the divine. I'm seeing that once you make this choice, you will see miracles around you every day. And once you start seeing the miracles of life in all the little things, you're going to start believing that you can have a miracle in your life as well. Because we're all connected. Everything is connected. Seven of Autumn have patience. Whatever it is that you are going through right now, it is going to take a while, okay? We know this already from over here. 
Earth does not move fast. Earth is slow. All right. And you feel as though you're in fall, you're in winter, you're in fall, and then you go straight to spring. Love it. Love it. Okay. We have more earth over here, but this is the nine of pentacles. This is a very good card. And over here we have the seven and the king of fire of wands. Really? With the six of earth balance? Yes. Cancer, don't doubt yourself here, okay? Have patience and don't worry. <laughs> Events will change. Once they start moving, they're going to take off. All right. This is also you getting information in. I love how we have the page of air, the knight of air, the king of air. You are progressing through. You are learning a lot. You're getting a lot of information. This is both about situations that are going on around you, but this is also information that you are retrieving from yourself, from your direct connection to the divine. This is you taking a step forward to lead in your own life. Princess of Spring, it's time to go after your dreams. King of Air, speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. You are coming in, once you make this decision over here, whatever this is about, when you're able to stand your ground about the decisions that you make, okay, you're going to be, you're going, you're coming out very confident. You're coming out very confident. You, oh yeah, yeah. Look at, you have to have patience and strength. Patience and strength to come out to be the kings, right? You have two kings here. Kings have great patience and strength. Even the king of wands has great patience and strength. Oh, you have three kings. Shut up. What's missing? The king of cups. Oh, your card. Oh, and as I say that, there you are. Look. Deep dive. Self-love. Looking out into the world and realizing that you have to love yourself first. You have to have a true appreciation of yourself before you can have a true appreciation of anyone else. There you are again. Look, there you are. The chariot with the page of swords. Remember I said, which is right here, which is, I told you, you were going to be getting a lot of information. You're going to be getting a lot of information coming at you, okay? If you have Gemini in your chart, definitely watch the Gemini reading. Ooh, temperance is hiding something. This is patience. This is balance. This is healing. Moving forward. Page of Wands. Ten of Swords. The Empress. Temperance is hiding the Empress. Empress. Oh, you are you are becoming the Empress, but you must be patient. The Empress is all about abundance, fertility, creation. The Empress is always creating. And whatever she creates is beautiful and bountiful. Patience is required before you can get there. You have to mix and balance out your emotions with your mind. Once you do that, you will be moving forward into a brand new area because you will see what you will be building. You will be building from everything that you have learned during this time. It's going to give you a higher stance, a higher understanding, okay? Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Emperor. I told you, whatever you're going through right now, you're a page of wands right now, all right? You're trying to take action, but you're kind of ineffective at the moment, whatever this is. 
that's because you're on delay, you're on pause. This is for a reason. But when you finish whatever this is that you are going through, you will be the emperor. Of course you will. You had three kings. The only king you have left is the king of cups. So interesting. And the empress is over here. The emperor and the empress. You will be balancing your masculine and your feminine energies. And the only cups cards that we have here is the five of cups. Okay, so this is not a love reading. Sorry, guys. If you came for a love reading, it is not here. Yeah, because love right now, for the cancers that I am hitting with, love right now is confusing to you, and it's kind of a burden to you is what I am getting. And it makes you uneasy at the moment because you've been hurt. All right? Taking control after... Hold on. Once you can start to move before, shoot, now, during, and after you start to move forward, you're going to be trimming back on what you do. You're going to be learning at a deeper level, everything at a deeper level. You're going to have deeper understanding of what it meant to truly go to, to go through this, what it means for your future, and you become the emperor. Whoa, there you are. There you are, look at that. The chariot and the nine of pentacles. Moving into a much more independent, hardworking, but happy energy. The chariot is victory. The chariot is about taking control. The only way he takes control is with his mind and his emotions. Otherwise, these statues do not move. It's a concrete chariot for crying out loud. How are they how are two stone statues supposed to take carry that? It does not happen. But he's got the universe to help him. He's adorned with the stars. Which we do not have. I thought we had. We do not have. Okay. Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. Yeah, back to this card. I told you, in the future, now, soon, and even after this is over, you're going to be learning what to cut. You're cutting out this burden. You're walking away from anything that is just too much, that is not yours, so that you can be free to move forward. One more. <gasps> Ah, there it is. Wheel of Fortune. Everything is in divine timing right now. Why? Four of Wands. Because you are concentrating on building the future. You are concentrating on building the future properly. You want your future to be built on a proper foundation. And the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. Be patient with yourself. Be proud of yourself. Believe in miracles for yourself. They do happen every day. With faith, you can move mountains. All right, let's get an advice card for the week, please, for cancer for May 31st through June 6th. Guys, if you don't know yet, I go live every Sunday. With Oh, if you have not seen your readings during my Sunday lives, they're time-stamped. Well, most of them. The last one was time-stamped. They go deep. They're really fast, and they go deep. Go watch that. Please do like this video. Hit that like button. It is greatly appreciated. Subscribe. Comment down below. <gasps> Love it. Why do I want to pull two? Okay. Cancer, cancer. Ace of Swords, for some reason, these two cards are going together. Ace of Air. 
new ideas, personal truths, paradigms, originality, individualism, motivation, choices, and belief. A new personal ideology. Unlearn and let go. Fact and genuine knowledge. Honor personal truths. Know your mind. Reality is first conceived in the mind. Be excited and motivated. Our old beliefs sad sabotaging future goals. Mm, see, I should just pull from here and we're done with the whole reading, right? Okay. Five of Earth. Easy option, easy money, connivance, deception, unnecessary risk, addiction, and blame. Avoid easy answers. Think twice about taking a risk. Something is not as it seems. Be honest with yourself. Are you accountable? Do you gamble with another's for future? Consider the feelings of others. Look beyond selfish desires and blame. I think that what's going on is that cancer is seeing that if they have, have been doing this, they're seeing the truth of this, the Ace of Swords. Seeing the truth of any self-deception. Also seeing the truth of deception that others bring to you. That's what I think is going on. Okay, guys, you know I love you. I hope to see you soon. Peace to you. Have a great week. Ciao.